Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Master Lost Sector, Velez Labyrinth. Now, I'm going to be doing these. I've still got a couple more to do. Uh, I think I, I think I've got most of them though, so they'll, they'll all be getting uploaded soon. This one wasn't too difficult. I've tried to do it from the perspective of someone who can't just kind of charge through these lost sectors. So I tried to do it thoughtfully and take the different areas into consideration. I'm using a warming build and I'm using a, a mod that I normally don't use. I'm using cellular suppression. So when I damage a warming cell, it will suppress it adds and it kind of stops it. It can stop you from being overrun. So as you can see, we're doing it on the Titan. Seventh Serath offers a rifle, obviously, for unstoppables. Yan Seven rifle for uh, barrier champions. And we're using the Xenophage. Now, the Xenophage can produce warming cells if you've got the right thing on. So we've got burning cell. And what that does is it increases burn, it adds a burn effect to any anything you, any one main cells you break. Cellular suppression is obviously suppresses enemies. Wrath of Rasputin. Now, Wrath of Rasputin is the mod that will produce one main cells from the Xenophage. So, its solar splash damage produces one main cells. We've also went with Rage of the War Mind, which increases the, 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 the radius of, of the war main cell and we went with global reach obviously to increase further increase the distance of the war mind explosions all the usual mods uh machine gun ammo finder reserves and scavenger i'm using bottom tree sun warrior bottom tree sunbreaker that's basically I'll sh I, I think you see right at the start of the clip why it's so good you can throw a grenade anything that kills will leave a sunspot you do more damage from inside the sunspot and you regenerate your melee and your grenade so, I hope you enjoy the run, guys. I say I've got a couple more of these to come. Uh, and we're just going to do a run on all the Masters until they're all done. So, the great thing about the Masters is how you get exotic. So, when it's head or arms, it drops the new exotic. But it drops exotics from... from all, has a chance to drop them from all of them. Just the type that it, that it actually advertises. So, when you get into the Labyrinth, you're going to have... You just follow the route round. You'll get these first four kind of thrall... And then what, what you want to do just to get out of here is just stay on the right hand side. Just keep going right until you come to this really long kind of tunnel that goes all the way down. This is where you're going to come up against your first champion. Now, I, had a, I didn't have a problem with this champion. It just took me a couple of attempts to work out exactly what I needed to do because it's so much damage. Because one of the mods, one of the modifiers is arc damage. So what you want to do is the minute you see an ad coming, throw your grenade. And then you want to, as soon as as soon as you've took out the first ad, you want to give the the champion a chance to come. So I get two shots on, and then we want to break the shield, and then just use the xenophage because hopefully you'll get splash damage kills, and you'll produce a warming cell. Now the thing about cellular suppression as well is you deal less damage to the warming cells. So the other thing you're going to be trying to do, you'll see here, they're taking damage. You can see there's still ads up there, but now I've suppressed them. And you'll see what it's like next time I damage them. And you can see that, that one at the top. It's like they've walked through uh, a Titan Defender bubble uh, when you've got Helma Saint 14 on or a, a suppression grenade or whatever. They're just kind of blinded, you know. So be careful when you're going up here. There can still be ads up here. I've had t I, I, as you can see there, I've had times where where uh, I went up there and, and there's been exploders waiting up there. As you can see, this is the effect. This is the effect. You see my, my melee going up. I'm not going to need my melee just yet, so I never stayed in it. But you can just stay in this and get your melee and your grenade back. So anytime you use, anytime you kill an ad, he's just going to charge past me. It's really weird. Make sure if they do run past you, make sure that you... Don't let them run away because they will come back when you're least expecting them. And as you can see, we've no uh, chafe is on, so we have no mini map. When you get here, you're gonna have, I don't know, five five of these guys, two, two, three of them at the bottom, two of them up on the platform to the right. You've got an unstoppable in front of you, and you are you you do have a barrier up on the platforms on the right. Now the barrier won't come come to you just yet. Sometimes he might look at you from that that. Uh, that uh, kind of walkway above you, I don't really know what to call it, I was going to call it veranda, but it's not really, that ledge above you, you can just see where, just above where we're aiming, he'll come out there sometimes, he'll take a, one or two shots at you, if he does, just back away around here, he will go away, he doesn't stay for very long, now, why am I not 
spamming them with this. See there? See that exploder? Nearly died because an exploder just come out of nowhere. He was he was nowhere. It can happen. So the reason why I'm not spamming with xenophage is we want to save some xenophage. We don't want to get ourselves into a position. Uh, the reason why I'm using it now is because I've seen I had a ton of bricks down here. We don't want to get ourselves into a position where we're running out of heavy simply because we've got three overloads, uh, three unstoppables coming up. Now, it is arc bun is increased, which is really good because I've got an arc pulse rifle, and that's going to help me to uh, to save my xenophage when it comes to the overload. So what we do here with this, this is the champion. Once you break his shield, be expecting a ton of throw. So I'm still doing damage to him. I'm, try I'm, I'm just forgetting about the adds to a degree because the solar damage, I put the grenade there for them to run into and the, the, the heat, the, the sunspots, it was just running at those sunspots and getting absolutely melted. I wanted to keep that good damage up on the on the barrier champion. I'm just looking around to see where that brick is. I done this run about I don't know about four days ago, uh, and because of the editing problems that I had, I couldn't get it up on the channel. Uh, I'll I maybe explain a little bit more about them because it's embarrassing, but safe to say the editing problems were were a stupid mistake I'd made. So anyway, once you've cleared out all that and you've collected all your ammo, you're gonna have an unstoppable round here. So just toss your grenade. Make sure your grenade's hitting this unstoppable before you stop them. And it just increases the damage. So you can see here, I'm just doing a good bit of damage. I'm just going to hide around this corner. I've still got my unstoppable shot charged because the, the unstoppable can now be stopped manually. Once you do that, you're going to have a, like a boss wizard around the corner. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our super. It's a yellow bar. So throw, throw the first hammer on the floor and as you can see my super is going down a lot slower because that's the effect of the sun warrior. It's recharge, it's saving some of my super. So I'm going to go to the next one and if you look just to the right you'll see the first set of thrall coming out. So I threw, threw a super to see if I could take some of them which I did. I backed away a little bit. Now this is where you have to be careful. Now you've got two unstoppables but this whole next section can be tricky only because this because it's arc bomb we've got we've got some seriously dodgy ad you know uh, placement of ads so you know when when they start to come they will come all the way around here so what i suggest is you've got this little bit around the corner if they push towards you they push all the way up here just jump back to where you came from you'll see me do it in the video so you'll see exactly where i'm talking about to jump back to now you can see one's pushing me. I can stop him if I need and then do a couple of shots and then get out of there. And this is where I'm talking about. Go all the way back to where you came from because they will kill you very quickly. Now there is a little bit around the corner you can hide but as I said at the start of the video I'm trying to do this from the perspective that people aren't going into this 10 power levels below. They might be going in 15, 16, 17 power levels below. So I'm trying to do it from the perspective of staying safe without using the weapon that I would like to use, which is the weapon that would be really good for this, which would be the Anarchy. So I'm just trying to come up, as I said before, I'm trying to find different ways to do it to meet the demands of people who don't have these weapons. He's dead. There we go. You've got one more, and then we've got another set of ads to deal with, and another one ad to worry about. Now, we've got the boss. The boss is going to be floating about as well, but we've got one ad we really need to watch out for. And I'll I'll point out exactly where this ad's going to come from. Because it's arc burn, and it's a relentless fire rate that, that, that this ad has, you just have to really worry. Uh, watch out, sorry. So, another thing that's worth saying is, you know you can stop a... A champ, an unstoppable, you can stop him again when the hair, that kind of, those uh, look like fiber optic cables coming off its neck. When they are not lit up, they are lit up when you can't stop him again, but when you can, he, they stop. Now this is the part I was talking about. So you've got the boss around there, you've got some acolytes around there. The reason I'm looking there is because there's a wizard that's going to come. Now, the wizard doesn't isn't actually here yet, but I didn't know this at the time. And... Because the wizard shots are so kind of harsh. I mean, the boss's shots are pretty bad. But the wizard shots, 
Oh man, the fire rate is just crazy, and it will ki and and she will kill you. I mean, she's not an elite. She's not like a boss. She's just a normal kind of orange bar wizard. So where those where that rock is that I'm facing now, those those uh those containers to the left of the rock, you'll actually see the wizard go past them, and that's when you know. So the wizard's going to be coming about now. This is the there's the wizard. You just see the wizard's solar shield there. That's the wizard you need to watch out for. The boss the boss's shots kind of get blocked by the by those uh. There's the wizard just to our right. The, the, the boss's shots get kind of blocked. So we don't really have to worry about the boss up here. But the wizard, we do. Now, I've produced a war mine cell. Normally, I would be going after that. But what I'm actually trying to do is produce some heavy. So I'm, I'm, my main focus at the moment is all of these exploders. Where the wizard was, you're gonna, yeah, as you can see, you might have just seen in the background there. You do have some acolytes sitting around there. But you'll see this chain reaction. All those cursed throw. We had to get rid of those because all it takes is, you know, one mistake from me or looking in the wrong direction. You see I've got heavy there. That's all it takes. If you go for heavy here, try and stay airborne. And you see here I get tagged. You know, but I was I was very lucky. I was just about getting back into cover. Now what we're gonna try and do is just make sure there's no more ads in this area. We know we've got some as you can see there, the shots coming from the right. We know we've got some acolytes around there. The boss isn't really going to be a problem in this super and the Xeno phase, so I'm just going to use my, Z my Xeno just to clear those last few ads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait this, this guy out here. I want him out in the open so I can pop my super. And the great thing about the super is, every time it hits, it's going to produce like a, a solar kind of sunspot. And that's the last acolyte. Now you'll know when there's absolutely no more ads in this area because the portal will disappear. When the portal disappears, there's absolutely no ads left. Now, I've got a war mine cell down there, and you might see it's making everything there orange. You can see the portal just disappeared because I just killed the last acolyte. And now, three or four shots from the Xenophage, and that's this done. So, the, the, the big thing is keeping yourself in cover from the boss's shots and making sure that the, when you get around there, that wizard goes first. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. I certainly enjoyed doing it. And as you can see, I've got the gym marchers. If you do it flawlessly, I've found flawless runs give you a higher chance of getting exotics. And it's a good way of maybe trying to get some high stat exotics. And if it's arms or exotic arms or exotic heads, which will, it will say when you select that law sector, then I found that the first thing I'll drop will be the new ones if you don't have them. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. And I will see you in the next video.